the Seoul, South Korea uh, joints, right? Now, this is Ben Johnson. This is Carl Lewis and everybody else. Do you see the gap in, in racing? This right here is probably about a, almost a second gap, maybe a quarter second gap, half a second gap. This is a lifetime in a sprint, right? So the point is, can you guess who's cheating here? Ben Johnson was cheating. Everybody else that's not cheating is really far away. He's cheating. They're not. Strong when I pencil him. Phone steady jumping, screaming calls like I'm picking bricks. Got everybody tapping in, but you've been kept it solid. When you look me in the eyes, subtle tell, I know you got it. When you do the sauce, make me want it a la carte. Caught me looking at it like the bullseye of the target. Though. Check this out, man. Full disclosure, as always, last night's video, 1.8 thousand views already, man. This is a video got legs. It's going to move up there. It's going to the moon. We're going to check back with this at the end of the week. I guarantee it's going to be around about 20 grand. But listen, it's this is a jump shot. If you got 77 uh, three ball or higher, is this is for you, man. So if you are uh, six five to six nine, whatever like that. So the six eight centers, this is for you, man. Um, and pretty much anybody else, because I'm using it on my six seven. Also, listen, man. Hey, we had our video. We had a lot of fun on the podcast where we were talking about things that were sensational. And yes, I did have that hyper cut in there, man. Don't worry about how we did it, man. Just know that we did it. But look, check it out. So we uh, that's 4.2 thousand views. But before that, bro, what the world? It's a 10 grand. Y'all boys are the real MVPs. The day before that, 9.5 thousand. And look at that, my other jump shot. It said 4 thousand. Man, I'm telling you, this is why I be saying these videos. They got legs and they know how to use them. And because y'all do that for me, I'm going to do this for y'all, man. I'm Hey, listen, man. Anybody come through and just say something, know the squad, all this, all city squad, any of that, man, y'all going to be up here. Ma hey, man, can we leave the, ma the master of the baiters alone? Thank you, man. That's how. That's exactly how I mean it. I am the master of the baiters, man. Y'all got to go back and watch that joint, man. That was a hilarious video. And the top comment from that one was, I love the way that y'all are able to team up for one show. Uh, I watch all three of y'all. So to me, I think it's so dope that y'all are willing to try to team up instead of trying to outdo each other. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, the truth about that, man, the unmitigated truth. We grown men, man, and as grown men, we understand that there's strength in numbers, way more strength in numbers than, uh, than, than going at somebody, man. Because the 2K community, the problem with the 2K community to me has always been this. Instead of trying to come up together, we try to come up off somebody. But I tell you, I'm six foot four, so you will get much further if you stand on my shoulders than if you cut me down and stand on my neck. And that's that's just a bar right there, man. And that's with anything in life. The shortest person that you know gonna be five something, five eight, five nine, something like that. So listen, no matter who it is, you will always get further working together and standing on my shoulders than to try to cut me down and stand on my neck. That's only about, Eight, eight inches, nine inches that you're gonna get rather than just getting six, four. And guess what? If you don't just stand on my shoulders and I help you, my reach is like almost seven, five, something like that, seven foot, something like that, almost eight foot. So if you're standing on my shoulders and I lift you up, you're gonna get even further, man. Now that's my that's my philosophical thing for the day. While all that out of the way, man, make sure y'all like the video, comment down below. And if you don't do it, if you know this intro, say it with me. Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. Check this out, now listen. Make sure y'all hit that like button, man. We got to get to 300 likes before we get to 1.5 thousand views. And that's what really gets us going to the moon, Alice. And I, hey, if nobody told you this today, man, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. Love each and every last one of y'all. That boy Quavy is young, has put out the top 10 report. Make sure y'all go. Listen, this is the Quavo. This is the uh, top 10 report brought to y'all by Quavo Quavo on them leaderboards, man. We about to try something new. Hey, like, we blowing it up. Blow it up, my. Hey, hold on. Is it, is it blow it up or is it roll it up? Am I showing my age right there, man? So check it out. The top 10 report. Here we go. I got my trusted, dusty tablet right here. Y'all told me I had the oldest eyes in the community yesterday, and y'all was right. Number one, Random Wizard. Number two, Cash Out. Number three, Key Sticks. Number four is uh, the, the original Malik. Number five, 10 GFD. Number six is Swag. Number seven, Nade with a power move right there. Number eight is, uh, yeah, but okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Will, number nine, Enzo, number 10 is Demonize on Twitch. 
and, and uh, number 35, this boy right here is grinding. That boy, Quavius Young, is at number 35, man. Please receive all of these and govern yourselves accordingly. And I'm gonna get me a little card or something like that, man, man because, because I, I can't I can't do this. My eyes just suck right now, bro. I'm so, I'm so old. I'm so old, it's not even funny. And I, I wanted to do this. Y'all know that I normally put in the background us and the squad plan. I think what I'm going to start doing is putting in the background is raising with randoms in the background so y'all can understand how I feel when I play this game. Like a lot of times when you play this game, it's just like, this is what you guys experience. What the experience that I have, that's not what y'all have when I'm playing with a squad, playing this and that. Man, my, my, whew, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. When you play with these randoms, it is so frustrating and infuriating, but hey, it is what it is. But hey, that's why I need y'all like that tonight. Come room with your boy, man, and we gonna get this. Actually, we probably gonna be playing Wreck tonight, but you know, it is what it is. Up next, hey, we got that boy, Badgy Plug, it says 2K, 2K24 is a month old right now. Is it good? I say it's good. I really enjoy the game. Uh, all, all the bitching and complaining, that's what I don't enjoy, but that's the community that we're in. And so we already know what we're gonna get with that, man. It just is what it is. But I think if we just play the game and uh and, and have fun, just like this right here, what Grinder says, heck yes, the game is fun. Just need to fix the delay. Uh that that be the delay that happens. Uh do something about unpluckable and steals. And and you know, we, you already know when they talk about something that's relevant, we're gonna talk about unpluckable and steals. Those things, I'm telling you, man, listen, you might as well do like uh now work said and get your lock up and go out there and get you a fat ass lock because the steals are gonna be gone they have complained and cried and and just don't know how to adjust so much them joints gone man so y'all y'all might as well just realize that that you're gonna be at the mercy of the offensive player uh from here on in so just get used to playing without reaching because that's where you're going to be and and, and it's and it's, it's got to be the lock's fault too because instead of just reaching one time or just playing good defense we just reach 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 i mean that's what that's what happens so i um it, it's gonna, gonna be gone and it's uh because people in this community instead of trying to play a game you just try to exploit everything even on defense you know the locks trying to exploit stuff so hey is what it is up next solo says rate nba 2k 24 on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give it a seven and a strong seven and a half maybe even eight if it was still in the in the condition that it was day one day one i'd give it a nine almost a ten it was probably one of the best 2ks i've ever played it still is but I have to see what happens once they fix all the, uh, you know, some of the issues that people are having in the game. Once they do that, then we'll be able to give it a true score because we do have a massive patch coming and we're gonna talk about that in one moment, man. Hey, that boy Key Stick says, hey, I never really complain about the game. I like that on Twitter, but, but for some reason today, I am super delayed. It feels like the fighting game. It's like I'm fighting my controller. Anyone else? And he says, yeah, I've been feeling like that. I've been uh, hating the delay since day one. And you know, a lot of other people say that I feel like my jump shot time and change. Yo, I'm not going to lie about that. Listen, this one right here, I feel like my jump shot time and change. As soon as I put that jump shot out yesterday, I went back and tried to shoot it. And it was hard as hell for me to shoot it because the jump shot time and literally changed probably around five or six o'clock yesterday it changed now i figured it out and i was back on it but the timing the t not the tail didn't change the queue didn't change the queue was still in the same spot but it just took longer to get to the queue so i'm glad that i'm not the only one that felt that way because bro and somebody also said in the comment section they said they felt that the uh, that it changed man and i'm telling you man Jack, hey but look though it didn't change that much because you see your boy over here and you see your boy down here in this corner right here let me get down coat on these boys give me the box trays up splash that drop mm. That's what we're doing right there, man. Hey, but look, look, this is how 2K got some people feeling right here, bro. Hey, they said my uh said my player is in as at that certain stage in his career. Boy, at first I was like, what is he doing? Is he doing is he doing hey look at that? That boy got that that boy got that Tony Montana on the table, man. He said, I'm just about to get me a whole no full of that thing. Why, 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 why? What you doing there, boy, boy? What you doing that <laughs> Hey, I guess he had this certain part of his career. That's what we all are. Up next, we got that boy. I hit the wrong button. Uh, there we go. Bow. Y'all see, I like my transitions, man. But up next, hey, Downward says, this is what them dudes' rooms who be selling look like. This looks, bro, I ain't gonna lie, man. This looks like he's in a, uh, this is a random wizard. And he says he on that wreck ground or whatever. Bro, is this his room? I can't tell who that is, man. But, uh, yeah, I guess he been grinding. This dude in school, this look like a dorm room. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like, that's either a dorm room or a halfway house, bro. Like, I, I don't, is it? 
I don't know. I mean, they look like a, don't they look quite, quite dorm room to y'all? Like it does, that doesn't look like like an actual actual room to me. Like some is he trolling or is that like his real room? I don't know. And I'm not taking no shots at him or nothing. I'm just saying like I've seen dorm rooms and I've seen halfway houses, and this is what this. <laughs> you know what it look like? It look like he is in a dorm. But I, I don't know, man. Y'all let me know. Y'all think he trolling with that one? Y'all think this is real room or whatever? If it is, ain't no disrespect on that. And I'm just saying, like that's that's what it looked like. The only reason I'm saying that is because of this right here, the uh the you know the little plastic joint with the with this joint on the wall or whatever. And it just looked quite modular, man. I'm not gonna lie. With the books right here, so that's 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 why it made me think dorm room or whatever. But hey, it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man, down in the comment section. I think he trolling, man. Up next. Hey man, I put out this joint right here yesterday where this dude, hey downward, this is a bill that I put out. I said, this dude, can we please stop coming into the house of randoms with bills like this going 0 for 4 from 3 and 0 for 10 overall? Downward said, don't be making a bill like this if you're not nice. You will be, you expose yourself and just be a walking defensive liability. You bring, like, you bring a bill like this out, you need to be uh, productive on the offensive end. I just think you just, just, if you can't get all the buckets, it's no reason to do this, man. I'm gonna show y'all what this dude, bro. Look at this. What is this? Bro. Bro, what is this? What is, what is this? You already ain't got, I, I get it. You already ain't got no defense. So you're like, why would I even upgrade it if I don't have any defense? But what is this? And then look at your physicals. They ain't even all all that. Like you ain't even got like max speed or whatever. And then you got the highest three ball available and high dribbling. And he wasn't shooting threes or dribbling. It was insane, bro. Bro, that was me. I played with this guy, man. Dude was 0 for 10 from three. And just, I, I don't get it, bro. I, I don't get it, man. But hey, on to what we came here for today, man. The two things that we came here for. Number one, there is a patch coming and there's a big October patch coming. That boy All City Live TV did an excellent video. I'm just piggybacking off of him on this one. This one and he just says, there are some gameplay changes that we are expected to see in the October patch. And here are the October patch changes that we expected to see. Uh, this is gonna be the big one that they were talking about. So we got Ghost Contest. The dunk meter should be fixed. Um, you know, because that make window goes, if anybody's not there, it's big. If somebody even steps, it's, it goes really small. Still animations are supposed to get fixed. Uh, so, so you can't pull people out of animations. And maybe that'll fix the thing overall to where you can only steal the ball in certain situations. And it's not like they're hitting you with a crossover and then, uh, you know, you're pulling them out of it. So maybe that'll work. Uh, badge progression is supposed to be, be updated. Quest bug fixes, the wreck black screen, uh, rewards fixed and also the out of bounds sensitivity is supposed to be fixed and that's one of the most annoying things that there is in the game man that out of bounds sensitivity is is absolutely uh insane man i'm not gonna lie to y'all up next that boy john bridge for he said this is tycino's new bill man the a with the 98 3 and the 98 midi man and this is this is fracino's bill man and hey look low layup low dunking I mean, low, low layup and a uh, decent close shot or whatever. But this is what he said, that that midi and this, and this right here. He don't even go to the wreck, but you just got to put that up right there. And then uh, pass accuracy, you know, it's pretty low, but he just played with Z. Ball handling, speed with ball. He don't need that. He just come around. And then he's got the defense up there. And then, you know, you got to have a little interior. And then, like I said, when you go, this ain't even glass cannon. The bill that I showed y'all before was glass cannon. This is an actually solid bill. I don't know what the young man was thinking before that, man. He just was thinking. And then last but not least, what y'all all came here for, the pH to resist stones. That boy grinding has a bone to pick, man. But hey, it is what it is. I'm just gonna tell you like this. Grinding, this is me and you, we, 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 we cool. Um, when you complain about something like this, you ain't gonna get no sympathy from nobody because everybody's gonna think that you're cheating if you're close i'm gonna show you a picture right here real quick of carl lewis this is this is the seoul south korea uh joints right now this is ben johnson this is carl lewis and everybody else do you see the gap in in racing this right here is probably about a, almost a second gap maybe a quarter second gap half a second gap this is a lifetime in a sprint, right? So, the point is, can you guess who's cheating here? Ben Johnson was cheating. Everybody else that's not cheating is really far away. He's cheating, they're not. The whole point is, 
when something happens and somebody is cheating, you should, you're going to have to be so far away from them that, that, that like, it's not even conceivable that you're cheating. When people are cheating and you're keeping up with the cheaters, nobody's going to believe that you're not cheating. That's just how we're going to preface that, preface this with that. But anyway, so he says, boosters are ruining the top 10 event. Um, there's nobody in the world who legitimately had five stat lines, uh, five stat, <laughs> five, five better stat lines than I did in the event. I averaged 80 points and 30 assists on my point guard and 60 points and uh, 45 rebounds on my center with video proof. Please look at, look, look into this. Now you just talking about your stats, bro. Ain't nobody believing that. I'm just going to tell you, you could have done it completely legitimately or your squad, your squad got together and concoct it to get to allow you to get those stats. But the game made, but but that, they didn't happen naturally is what we're saying. It's what everybody's gonna say. So we're gonna look at some of these stat lines and y'all tell me what y'all think. Stat line number one, uh, 92 points and 25 assists, 35, 33s, okay. Next one was uh, 38 rebounds and 63 assists, cool. The next one was, where, where's this stat line? 41 rebounds and 55 assists. Cool. Uh, here we go. 30 rebounds and 63 assists. Now, even though you can, like, I mean, you might have got them legitimately, but nobody believes that they happen naturally is what we're saying. Now, that's that, that's the debate that, you, that, we, that we're talking about. Is it natural or is it did it happen naturally or is um is it legitimately if it didn't happen legitimately perhaps they feel like that it's not natural that's what people are thinking now in the comment section they feel like if you and your team got together to feed you all the stats then that's just as reprehensible as as collaborating with the other team to get you even more stats that's what a lot of people feel like i'm just giving you what they feel like he said i dedicated 16 hours my life to this event yesterday while legitly uh pulling uh pulling putting on full of four elite I was in fifth place when the event was supposed to end according to, to uh, whoever, whoever, and have since dropped to seventh place because known boosters have taken over. And so this is what we're talking about. So the known boosters have taken over. He was in fifth place. I don't know who's in first place right here, but if you're in fifth place, I don't know who in here is supposed to be boosters, but you only 30,000 points behind a person in first. So if you're only 30,000 points behind the person in first, People are just not going to believe that you did that of your own volition. And like I said, and the person in fourth, he was only uh, only like what, 600 points, 650 points in front of you. Only thing I'm saying is if, you, if you're saying that somebody's cheating and you're right behind them, nobody's going to believe that you're not cheating either. That's, that's the only thing. And even if you did it, they feel like a lot of people feel like funneling the stats to you is cheating. That's how they feel. So you ain't gonna get no sympathy on this. I'm just gonna tell you like that. And he said, hey, I recorded over 30 Rick games with the stat with, with stats like that. Uh, and I have the video proof of every single game. Ban the booster so the people who play play legit can win. And let me show you what the people in the comments say. Like I said, ain't nobody gonna have no sympathy for it. He says, you are literally stat padding. Ha ha ha. It's the same thing. Nobody should be taking 43 pointers. That's your boys helping you win. Right? And he says, says stat padding isn't boosting. Are you dumb? But nobody cares because it happened unnaturally. He doesn't have to be dumb. You don't have to insult people like that. It didn't happen naturally. You can't convince me that it happened naturally. We're not even gonna read the rest of it. Dude said, you and your boys have has, has the Zen stats in the wreck and you complaining about boosters? Negro, please. <laughs> well, y'all boys wrong for this. Hey, bro, bro, bro dude said, uh, most magic says, bro, you're, you're, you're really complaining about boosters when your stats are boosted. Uh, like how does that, how does this not register as boosting to you? And he says, because destroying another team, man, look, we destroyed teams all day yesterday, but like, like and brute had crazy stats but he had no stats like that uh and then uh cash out said if only you streamed it all bro he said i recorded every single game on youtube uh for my youtube lmao uh y'all will see how how dumb the comments actually get really soon but you didn't record and then splashy just came through and just said oh yeah i forgot to tell you uh when your stats your stats don't count if they're unrealistic in the wreck my bad uh i had 89 points and 25 uh assists and it said zero and like i said man like i'm not i'm, I'm i understand what what grinding is saying but like when you look at these stat lines or whatever and uh and you see 
what actually is going on like i said you ain't, ain't nobody gonna have no sympathy for you bro I'm, I'm just gonna tell you like they're like like that's 130 132 to 40 then 130 to 88 that's cool i mean that's 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 probably more believable like all we saying is Ain't nobody gonna have no sympathy for you in this one because they probably feel like you're just as guilty as those guys that are doing it. And it sucks because you feel like you did it legitimately, but they don't feel the same way. And they just really are asking the same question. How are you that close if you're not doing something nefarious yourself? That's what they're asking. I'm not asking. I'm just saying that that when when somebody when when somebody's cheating, if you're close, how can you be close to them if you're not doing something unnatural as well? That's all That's all that uh, people are asking. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Y'all think it's legit, y'all think it's not? And I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Chap. Guys, please. Guys, please.